Corel's Video Studio is not just for creating motion videos and DVDs with effects and transitions. You can also use it to intersperse images into your videos, or you can create image-only projects and output slideshows in a variety of formats with transitions and pan and zoom effects. And all this can be done using the automated movie wizard. In a recent video, I showed how to add pan and zoom effects to images using the Corel Video Studio Editor, giving them motion and life where there wasn't any. This time, we'll let the Movie Wizard create them for us. Launch Video Studio and choose the Movie Wizard option. You can see right away that the import option we want is Insert Image. I'm going to bring in just a few images for this short demo. As you can see, I can shift or control select all or any of the images I want to use. When I import them, they all get displayed in the timeline in the order they were listed, but in a storyboard or an image type of fashion. I can sort them by name or date here, or I can just drag and drop them to change the order as I see fit. Next, I want to set the duration that each image is displayed. I'll select all using the Shift key, right click on any of them, and choose Duration, and set each image for 6 seconds. Other choices while here include the ability to rotate my photos. By the way, I can actually rotate video clips the same way which is a very rare feature in anything under $1,000 and requires multiple steps in Premiere. Hit Next. Here we can choose one of the built-in themes that will nicely add an introduction, conclusion, soundtrack, image transitions, and automated pan and zoom effects. You'll also notice that it defaults to one suitable for a slideshow. I will choose the Multi Overlay 4. I know, not the most charming of titles, but what are you going to do? The transitions Video Studio uses are dependent on your preferences setting accessed in the main Video Studio Editor. In my case, I have it set at random. But they can also be manually changed in the main Video Studio Editor. Possible edits here include the soundtrack, turn it off by deselecting this box, or delete it and add my own this way. This is easy to figure out, so I'm just going to leave it the way it is. I can also and will probably want to edit the titles that the theme has added. But where are these and how do I easily get to them? Two ways. Move your playback head to anywhere within these blue lines. These denote where editable text is located. Just double click the text on the screen to edit it. You can also choose a title from this drop down and you'll also be taken there. When the text is selected, retype it like I have so, and then click this icon to format it. I've already reformatted the ending text. Click Next again when you're done. Here you have the choices for output. It doesn't get any easier than this. And remember, you can tweak any of these choices by launching the Video Studio Editor. Well, thanks for joining us, and we'll see you again in another Corel video tutorial.